video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can quickly animate Photoshop styles. You can animate them in many different ways, but I'm just going to go through one or two possible ways of using them. Now, I'm just going to create a quick shape. That's just a standard shape, and I'm going to use a style over here. These ones are graphic extras ones, but you can, of course, use any, any styles you can find on the web or ones you create yourself. Now, just created that, and now and that was via styles, but you can also modify them here. You can see it's made of a gradient and a drop shadow. Now I'm just going to go down here to timeline. That's the key thing. I want to animate it using this. So what I can do is window and timeline. What I want to do is create a video timeline. So select that. And now what you can do, just expand that a bit and select style. Once you select this style, any changes you make along this timeline will be stored. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to move that along a bit. And I'm going to go over here. It's probably the easiest way. Just put the... Now it would be nice if there was an easy sort of panel that was always open. Unfortunately there isn't in Photoshop. Photoshop does love dialogues and panels and it doesn't make it... So once you've actually got that, what you can do then, you can obviously just modify the angle and you can see modifiers there. And again, it's not live, so you can't until you actually release it, obviously. So just go up and down like that, click OK. And you can go along a bit, say, further. And again, bring it up there, double click on that, and then move that around. You can modify all the settings, you can modify the scale if you want. I'm just going to make that a bit. Click OK and go a bit further along. Just drag that further along. Again, over here, the layers, and just change that and change that. Okay, that's enough. So what I've got that, I've got that one, only that one so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it into a smart object. So a layer and smart objects, convert to smart object. I love smart objects. I think they're really, really handy because you can then combine it with other effects as well. Now, hold the Alt down and you can just duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that, duplicate that as well. And of course I could go across the whole document and duplicate that. And I could actually make different positions as well. I'm just going to go straight across, single the line. Now, simple as that, I can just go select there and you will see it doesn't process anything at this point. Take a few seconds just to quickly. Now you can see the animation just as it just changes. It just changes over the whole of that set. So it just moves. And that's it. Just a very simple, quick animation. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to actually stop that. I don't want to continue with that. Stop. Yes, sometimes it has a tendency to continue on. Now, what you can do, of course, you can actually just go over here and you can select all of those and connect, make that into a smart object as well. Convert smart object. Once that's a smart object, you can resize that. Rotate that around. Duplicate. Hold the alt down. Hold the alt down there. And hold the alt down there. And so on and so on. So now, once you've actually got that design, what you can do then, of course, is you can still animate it so you can see it's going to obviously move a bit slower and obviously if you're actually doing the video actually rendering the video you can render it over on the side just basically make a, a render to an mp4 etc right so it's going to be doing that it's going to be a bit slow so i'm just going to stop at this point of course what you can do you've actually got all of those selected you can actually then, because they're smart objects, you can actually combine them all, make it convert to a smart object, make a single smart object. And again, that takes a few seconds. But what you can also do then is you can add effects. So what you can do, distort and maybe twirl. I'm just going to go for a very basic one. So just something like that. Click OK. And you can see the design there. Now, click there to 
probably not a good idea. I'm just going to go back to the start. You can see the design. Click there, and you can see it as it processes it. Obviously, it takes, takes a bit of time processing it, but the whole thing now has been animated, and these are all just done via styles. And obviously, a render to an MP4, something like that, will obviously make it a little bit quicker than uh, this very slow calculation that's, uh, that it's doing each time. Anyway, I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much. Mm.